just what does it mean to you to pick up yet another award this week? Oh, it's, it means a huge amount. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, a special award to have. There's, there's been a lot of uh, amazing people who've had the award uh, previously. So uh, to be fortunate enough to, to be voted uh, and to receive the award uh, here tonight uh, as what has been a, a fantastic evening, not only for the people in the room, but also the people that contributed to the uh, season throughout um, uh, this summer. I mean, it's been an amazing summer for everyone. Uh, Test cricket, county cricket, everyone's thoroughly enjoyed uh, a summer with uh, slightly less COVID. And it's been amazing watching you in action this season. Have you had a chance to reflect on what has been an incredible summer? Oh, not yet. Um, not yet. The uh, last few weeks uh, has been a, a bit chaotic um, with, uh, with the injury and what have you, but I'm sure there will be time uh, over, the, over the coming weeks and a couple of months to, to be able to have that opportunity. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed each, each part of, uh, of the summer, to be really honest with you. Um, and I'm gutted to be, uh, to be missing out with all the lads um, that have flown down under in the last couple of days. And did you feel like you were at the peak of your powers this summer? Oh, well, we'll have to see when I'm back from the injury. Uh, look, I was delighted with my, uh, with my form this summer. Um, I've been really uh, happy and content in myself. I think that as a, as a group as well, we've, uh, we've really bonded and, and come together as a, as a unit, uh, especially from a, a Red Bull side that obviously uh, people have picked up on. Um, so, look, we'll have to just wait and see. At one stage this summer, you scored 589 runs of 578 balls playing test cricket. It's incredible, really. Ah, uh, just a bit boring. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, I think the, the, the whole approach that we've had this summer, uh, just as a group of players, to go out and, and try and entertain people, um, try and um, get bums on seats and, and get people coming in, and I think we've done that in the last... Uh, uh, in the last few games, I mean, uh, to have pretty much sold out games uh, going into day five of the summer is something that we, we all want and to be in those close, um, close games and um, entertaining games is exactly what you want to be playing in. And as a player, did you feel empowered by Ben Stokes and Brendan McCullum and do you think that was maybe the key to a part of the reason you were so successful this summer? Look, there's, there's many different reasons. Yes, they are obviously uh, a factor in that. Um, I think that the, the whole atmosphere and, and everything within the dressing room has been fantastic and the whole buy-in from a, a group of players that has been slightly different too. Um, that's not to say that uh, the previous regime was wrong because it, I don't think it was wrong. I think that they did a, uh, an amazing job to, to keep a, a group of people together uh, during what has been such a difficult time with COVID. Um, but I think that the, the way in which Brendan and Ben have gone about it this summer is exactly what we've needed um, from a, a freshness point of view. Um, and. Uh, to get guys going out there and, uh, and enjoying themselves and playing with a smile on their face and uh, playing with no regrets and going towards the danger. And looking ahead to Pakistan in December and of course the Ashes next summer, this brand of cricket which has excited so many people and got so many people back into Test cricket if they were disillusioned for a while, do you see it being a sustainable brand of cricket as well? Why not? Um, yeah, why not? Uh, either way it's going to be entertaining. And have you as players started to think about the Ashes and and try to right some of the wrongs from, from last winter, potentially? Not really. That's a long way away. Um, look, I think that people can get caught up quite quickly in, in those kind of things and look too far ahead. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of cricket. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen. There's injuries that can happen. Um, there's, uh, there's different bits along the way and, and the journey that everyone will go on uh, this winter. Um, and look, come next summer, everyone will be really excited. Uh, for an Ash Year's, obviously, it's slightly earlier in the summer as well, so that adds a different dimension to it too. Uh, but that, when that does come around, uh, the guys will be chomping at the bit, and I'm sure it's going to be a cracking series like they always are. And how is your own recovery going at the moment? Is it going according to plan? It's early stages. I only had my operation um, only a few weeks ago, so it's, uh, uh, it's too early to, to give a time scale. It's too early to say, is it gone to plan, is it not going to plan? To be real honest with you, I've not even seen it without... Um, uh, bandages on it and, and things like that so uh, there's, a, there's a decent amount of recovery still to go um, I obviously uh, put a message out about the exact um, bits of the injury uh, in the last couple of days um, so there's a, there's a few, few tricky bits that are going to be across, the summer, uh, across this winter um, but look I'm, I'm in some of the best hands that you can be in and um, in some ways look the break might be a, a good thing uh, we've had a jam packed last few years um, it's been tricky at times living in bubbles, living away from home so much. So this might actually uh, in some ways be, um, well, I, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And 
it's another it's another testing point within my career. Um, there's been many different uh, tests along the way, um, and I'm excited for for what uh, this test is going to throw at you and, and to overcome that and come back even stronger in uh, 2023. We hope you you do that. Have you got an, an idea roughly about when you can expect to be be back? They announced the tour of South Africa in, in January and February. Is that one you're pinpointing as a, a potential return date? Like I've just said, I, I don't know. I, I only had the operation a matter of weeks ago. So, um, yeah, like I've just said, I, I don't know. And it would be wrong of me to, uh, to say and then people be really happy or really sad. And finally, you'll be gutted to be missing the World Cup this month. But I guess encouraged by what you saw in Pakistan with that series victory, so many positives to take, just how do you feel the side are going into that tournament? I think the side's copped a lot of flack, to be really honest with you, and some of it's been a bit unjust. Um, I think it's it's similar because the test team's been doing well. People want to pick on something else, um, and it's very easy to do that. It was uh, the opposite way around for a period of time. Um, you've got to you've got to understand that um, as a group of people, you're not going to have the best team out all the time. There's a lot of injuries. Um, so in, in some ways it was easy pickings for people to, to have an opinion, to, uh, to have an unjust view in, in, in ways on certain things and um, the way in which the guys have gone about it in Pakistan uh, after a, a bit of a challenge this summer is, uh, is fantastic um, and I can't wait for what the next few weeks holds for them out in the World Cup. I'm absolutely gutted I'm not where, there with them um, but I cannot wait to see the boys go out there, represent England, represent the country, uh, go out, give it their all and, um, and yeah, hopefully... Uh, bring the World Cup home.